Hey, what's up, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I want to do a video today. I was thinking about, I was actually reading a book, which I'll probably do a review on. It's called, <laughs> this is funny. I actually interviewed the, the author of this book. It's called Mind Hacking, okay? It's, uh, it's pretty good so far. I, 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 was, I was sucked into this by the, by the stories in this book. But I was listening to, or I was actually reading this book, reading a physical version of this book. For those of you that have problems with me listening to audiobooks and calling that not reading, that's cool though. We're, we're cool, we're friends, it's all right. But he was talking about, about hacking your mind, about basically getting rid of all the interruption, about the multitasking. And I've talked about this in my own book, Soft Skills. I've shown you the studies where, where multitasking has been proven to be very ineffective and actually you're not really doing multitasking, you think you are. Aside from simple things like running and listening to audiobook, that is true multitasking you can do. But he was talking about like how you get text messages and emails and they interrupt your flow and stuff. And it really got me thinking, I was thinking about this idea about how what ends up happening a lot of times is that a lot of things in our life, they lead us or they set the direction, right? So, you know, if you're, if you're in control of your own life, if you're in control of your mind, of yourself, then you should set the direction, you should set the course. But for example, let's just take an example. Let's say that I have a notification on my phone and someone texts me and they say something or, or they email me. I get an email notification. That's, that's more likely, right? Then I go and I go into my email and I'm checking it and it's causing me, maybe it causes a chain reaction of actions where I get upset, I get angry or I'm happy or I now reply and I'm typing out an email or I go to my desk, right? So what's happening is that I am essentially a puppet. I am letting events orchestrate me, right? I'm not directing my life. I'm letting the, these other things, these other things organize and, and control and direct my life. So a lot of people said that, that your inbox is someone else's to-do list for you, right? Or someone else's control over you. And, and I, I agree with that, it's very true. At the beginning of this year, I started going on a, a diet of information. I basically started filtering out things and started asking myself this, this one question, which is really what this video is about, is I, I've got a question that you should ask yourself about every single thing that you consume or that you do in every action that you're taking in your life, which is, is this directing me or am I directing it? Who's in control, right? Because if something pops up, in fact, just now, just to, just to show you, right? A notification just popped up on my phone on Slack, okay? I probably should disable notifications on Slack because it popped up and I immediately got this like stressful response in my body that makes me want to go over and check that, right? And so if I'm, if I'm thinking about that, if I'm asking myself that question, then my answer would be, oh, Slack is controlling me. <laughs> it's the puppet master, I'm the puppet, right? Because that notification comes up and then I'm going to respond, right? Even after I record this video, now I'm gonna go and check that message and that's causing me, I'm not directing my own life. Something else is directing my life. It, it's kind of scary when you think about it, how much of your life is controlled by you that you've planned, that you've decided what you're gonna do with your time, that you've decided how you're gonna spend that time and how much of it is controlled by other circumstances, other people, technology, especially technology, notifications and things like that. So I started asking myself this question, basically for everything that's going on in my life, every action that I'm taking, who controlled that, who started that action? Did I start that action? Or did something else start that action? Because, you know, and again, I think this is a kind of a scary thought when you think about how much control of your life you're giving over to other things. Because the thing is like, if something else controlled your action, if you didn't, if you weren't the source, if it didn't come from your mind and say, I think I should spend my time doing this or I want to do this, but something else caused it, then you're, you're kind of a, a robot, right? You, you kind of gave up a lot of control over your life. You've, you've given up a lot of power. So I've really started asking myself the question and I've started cutting out a lot of things. Like I just noticed here with, with the Slack, I probably need to turn off the notifications on my phone on Slack so that it doesn't control me. It doesn't mean that I don't ever check Slack. It doesn't mean that I don't check my email. It doesn't mean that I don't check messages. But what it means is that I have to be very much aware of where is that control coming from? What are the things that are actually 
you know, controlling me like a puppet and making me respond. And they seem harmless, right? But when you add them up, and when I started purging the stuff from my life, and it was like, oh, there's email, and there's news, and there's Facebook, and there's Twitter. And some of it was just my own habitual habits where, you know, I think unconsciousness can be one of those things where you basically are doing things out of habit and you're not really thinking about what you're doing and so you're unconsciously going through your day and doing things. So I've tried to be very deliberate, right? I've tried to very much calculate what I wanna spend my time on and how I want to spend my attention as opposed to letting all these things control it for me because you know you can get to a point and I felt like I did get to a point where a big chunk of my life, probably more than 50% of my life, was not under my direct control. And I was wondering, why don't I have time? Why can't I accomplish the things that I want to accomplish? And it's because I was letting these things slowly take over. So I would just challenge you today to ask that question, to look at the things in your life and to say, are these things controlling me? Or are these things causing me to action? Or am I controlling the things in my life? Am I choosing when to engage in activities and what to do? Because if you are responding to things instead of making them happen, you, have, you don't have control. Your life is basically not in your hands to, to the degree that other things cause you to respond versus you directing your own actions. We should be able to, if we want freedom, if we want true freedom, we need to be able to direct our own actions. All right, if you like this video, I have a request for you. You choose in your mind to click the subscribe button. <laughs> All right, and you'll get the videos automatically that I that I make about, I do about two to three a day. If you wanna get notified, which I don't know, based on this video, maybe you shouldn't click that bell, but if you do, because you wanna get the videos right away, I understand, it's cool, but if you make that decision in your mind, that, that's, that's totally cool. It's just when you let it happen to you and you haven't made the decision, that's, that's the bad thing, but you can click that bell below and I will talk to you next time, take care.